All right, next up we have potential energy. So potential energy is our energy of position. So the higher up something is and the bigger it is, the more potential energy it has. And that potential energy is going to come from gravity. All right, so our roller coaster example. So when our roller coaster is up here, it's not it's not moving yet, but it still has energy. And that energy is going to be potential energy. And it gets that potential energy from being high up. As it starts to go down the hill, that potential energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy or energy of motion. So potential is being converted to kinetic until at the bottom, almost all that potential is now kinetic energy. As that roller coaster starts to go up the hill and get higher up again, some of that kinetic energy is going to be converted back into potential energy. And then the, as it goes down the hill again, potential is going to be converted back into kinetic. So you see these energy transformations, the energy is not going anywhere. It's just being converted. So why this roller coaster is not just going to go on forever is because some energy is being converted to thermal energy through friction. So in almost any kind of energy transformation, we're going to lose some energy to thermal energy. And when I say lose energy, I don't mean it's being destroyed. I just mean it's no longer useful to us. So let's say I kick a soccer ball across the room. Eventually, it's going to stop rolling. That's because some of that kinetic energy. Some of that kinetic energy is being converted to thermal energy and being lost to the air around it. That thermal energy is no longer useful to what we're doing. So that's why I say we're losing energy to thermal energy. It's because it's no longer useful to us anymore. It's still energy. It's still there. It's just not helping with our scenario. All right. So that is our heat and energy unit.